Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting April 16th, 2018. Thank you for being here with me and as always remember these are general so they're not going to apply to everyone. Watch your Moon and Rising Sign readings for additional messages that may apply to you. And for private readings, the information you need is in the description box below. So, let's have a look at what's going on here for you. Overall energy for you in the week, we have the Hermit card. So with the Hermit, this is a major arcana card. Um, for a lot of you, I feel that this talks about answers coming your way, getting expert advice, researching things, looking deeper into things, paying attention to details, getting information, okay? Uh, second opinions and making informed decisions okay that um, may be coming up for you this is also the sign of virgo sun moon or rising that maybe um, this person may be significant for you during this time either they're helping you out or they're causing you challenges or you are dealing a lot with this person during this time okay you may also find that you're more, um, you want to keep more to yourself during this time. It may not be a particular uh, social week for you, not because you don't have the opportunities for that, but you're rather either stay in and do more research or stay in and study because you're preparing for a test or an exam or anything like that, okay, or a presentation, whatever the case may be. Um, and this could also represent searching for a partner, searching for answers, searching for a job, okay. Your external factors what you're aware of, what you're focusing on. We have the Page of Cups. So with the Page of Cups, now this is an offer that um, either may have been presented to you already and that's what you're researching, that's what you're looking deeper into, or this is an opportunity that is going to be presented to you. And again, you are asking someone to look at it uh, more closely, okay? This could be a job offer. This could be an offer of uh, love, someone asking you out. This could be making a new friend during this time or a significant contact, okay, in whichever way that applies with this energy. For others, I feel like something is offered to you. I do feel like it's attached to your job or studies um, or teaming up with someone, okay, in one way or another, and you're looking at the details, okay, you're getting an expert to look at it, because there's something that seems too good to be true about it, okay? The underlying energy, so this could be what's going on in your subconscious, what's influencing the situation without you knowing. Um, we have the Ace of Wands, with the Ace of Wands, you do have the energy of new beginnings around you. This is also increased vitality. This is um, abundance of ideas and creativity during this time. Um, you could have a money-making idea during this time. You could have an idea for a business during this time. You could be very, very creative. Um, for some, you are sharing your work okay, with the world during this time. So maybe you're getting together, you know, a YouTube channel or social media of any kind, okay, where you present your work, your thoughts, your ideas, um, your experiences to the world, okay, so this could be you bringing something forward that you're very passionate about, um, and then you're waiting to see what people think of it, or people are receiving it very well and you're getting uh, good feedback here. This is also the energy of new home, new job, new relationships, um, is the time of Aries, okay, it's full speed ahead, you want to go, 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 you're not sure what you want to change, but you know you want to change things, okay, that sort of energy, so use your creativity to your advantage during this time. In the energies of the week, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands, so with this energy, you've been waiting for something, maybe since last September um, or since the time of Capricorn, okay, you've been waiting for something and you've had to be patient and you've had to take your time or you've been studying for something or you've been preparing for something, okay. 
Um, and with the Eight of Wands, again, I feel that for some, this is you sending out resumes, um, your material, your a book, a blog, um, anything like that, songs, paintings, your work, sending it out to people who could publish it or who could get you um, noticed, put you on the map, that sort of thing. Okay, for some, I feel like that's what's going on. For others, this is about things picking up speed. Whatever it is that you've had to take your time with, whatever it is that you've had to be patient with, it is now picking up speed. You're getting all the results you want. You're, get, you're getting all the answers you wanted. It's go, go, go time. It's a green light, okay? This could be you sending out your resumes as well, your resume, or you have done so already and now you're waiting to hear back, okay? But you've applied for things or you are now applying for things. We have the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Cups. This could be the energy of moving for some of you, okay? So, again, you get all the answers that you wanted, you get the money you wanted, you know, the expert advice, and as a result, you get to move. You get the good news, here you go, you get to move. For others of you, this is a job offer that's coming in. You're already feeling burdened, you're already feeling, feeling drained and exhausted in your current job, or... Uh, the search process, searching for a job has drained you, okay? Um, and with the Knight of Cups, again, you have the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So initially, something that's initially coming up as a conversation or, um, hey, would you like to come talk to us? Or, hey, you know, would you like to come in for an interview? Or um, anything like that, okay? It is then taking to the next level and you're seeing an offer come your way as a result of that, okay? For... I feel that whatever it is that you're sending out, you might get a few rejections with it. And that is what is burdening you. But you get the one that counts in the end, okay? I also feel that someone you have history with, they might try to come back in your life. Um, that could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone rising or Virgo in particular, Sun, Moon, or Rising, okay? I feel that they're trying to come back in your life. Again, there's an element of this feels like it's too good to be true, or this sounds like it's too good to be true. You're looking back at the history you have with this person. They may try to rush things. They may try to, you know, get you to decide um, quickly whether I want to give them a second chance or get you to commit or something like that, okay? But I want you to be mindful, take your time, and listen to your instincts because your instincts are telling you, okay, slow down, I need to look deeper into this before I tell you what my uh, decision is. The reason I say that is we have the Seven of Swords here with the Five of Wands. So if this is about a love situation, be aware if someone has been um, immature, not really wanting to commit, uh, more interested in partying, going out, uh, maybe de de dealing with multiple people at the same time, maybe keeping their options open all the time, even though they were with you type of situation, that has not changed, okay? So for some of you that's coming up very strongly, that has not changed. So listen to your own wisdom and use your own experience. You already know what the answer is in this situation, okay? So just be mindful of that, okay, for some of you. For others, this is talking about moving there's something that feels a little bit rushed there's a time crunch on something and so you have to take what is most important to you and leave the rest behind it could be that you're released from your um, notice period okay you don't have to be there for the whole month not even for the whole week okay um, for some that's what's what's coming up okay what this is about for others of you i feel that you're bypassing conflict um i feel that people are trying to compete against each other where you already know what the answer is um and so you're just kind of walking past a conflict this could be where you're staying out of trouble where you're staying away from gossip where you're staying away from 
people trying to be mean or rude or nasty. Um, and this is you steering clear of that, okay? Let's see what else we're getting here. I also feel that someone might try to fight for you, but you're not interested in them doing that, okay? And that could be the company you're working for that you are leaving, or in a romantic sense. I feel that someone might be trying to fight for you, but you're really not interested in uh, seeing them do that, okay? Um, okay. Hearing messages from spirit. Another message is, again, you take your work to an expert and they're telling you what you need to change about it, what you need to edit, okay? And so for some, that's what's going on. You're keeping some things, you're changing others, you're making it better, but you do have the opportunity to then present it to the world, okay? So something might get published of yours, a work of yours, okay? Um, might get published, you might have to edit things, and this could also be where you try to upload something and whatever software you're using or whatever platform you're trying to upload it to um, has very strict guidelines of what you can use and what you can say and what you can't, and you're editing that, okay, but you're still getting to post it and it's very well received, okay? Let's see what else for Libra, someone in rising signs, advice, okay, for the week, that one coming into power. So we have hearing messages from spirit. I am a clear channel for messages from spirit. So with this, this is about you getting news that you're happy with, sending out resumes and hearing back. I feel that you have multiple options to look at, okay, um, with this energy. For others of you, this is receiving love letters in a way, okay, or someone trying to be very, very romantic with you. But again, be mindful if you already have history with this person and you already know what they're about, they've already tr showed you their true colors. The message is they have not changed, okay? They're trying to be big, bold, romantic, um, but slow things down because I feel they're trying to rush you into a commitment. But if you slow things down, they will eventually once again show you that they're not really willing to put in the work for the long run. They're just trying to woo you again, but not they don't plan this to be a long-term type of behavior. They're just going to go back to their old way. So keep that in mind, okay, for some. And for others, this is receiving messages, offers, opportunities that you need to carefully review, okay? And again, we have the art of communication, writing books, blogs, social media, anything where you uh, put forward your creative endeavors to the world, okay? And it's about being rewarded for it, receiving some sort of award for it, or it is very well received, okay? And then we have coming into power. I step into my power boldly and confidently. So this is about saying no for some of you. This is about saying no, no, I don't want you back. No, I don't wanna give you a, a second, a, a 50th, second chance, okay, no thank you. This is about saying, no, I am not staying. You've had multiple opportunities to keep your promises to me. You have not done so. I have now found something better, so sorry, goodbye. Um, this is about saying, don't rush me. It's my right to ask questions or um, it's my right to get a second opinion. Okay, don't make me sign anything. Don't force me, don't pressure me, don't intimidate me, okay? You might be standing up for yourself or standing up for someone else when someone's trying to be a bully, okay? Um, this is also about growth though, ascension, moving forward, moving upward, okay? So you have the opportunity for growth um, that will take you out of, um, certain type of environment that you've been in that involves a lot of negative people, toxic people, gossip, um, people being pitted against each other, okay? Um, always feeling like you have to watch your back, cover your tracks, whatever the case may be. Um, you have 
opportunities coming in to take you out of that environment, okay? Whether that is through you moving, if it's a living situation or better jobs, okay, if this is going on in your work, um, or different people, making different friends with different people. And so you get to leave some toxic people behind, okay? But you're coming into your power, that's a beautiful thing. So let me know how these messages apply to you. If they do, watch your moon and rising sign readings. Have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.